Hey guys, welcome back. With X231's engine parts away at the machine shop, I've been keeping busy reconditioning other components I still have here. Got the oil pump out on the bench now, and no prototype parts here, really nothing special about it. It's just a standard ZB oil pump and filter unit, but it is going to require some reconditioning, so I'll just get into it here real quick. When I cleaned this up and gave it the initial inspection, I found that this friction wedge that's supposed to hold the bypass check ball and spring into this bore was entirely too loose. Um, this should take some some pretty robust tools to uh, to get it to come out and I found that this one pretty much just comes right out on its own so that is definitely something that's going to need to be addressed. Get the spring out of there and the check ball. One other thing I noticed was uh, a whole lot of rust, uh, heavy pitting down here on the oil pressure adjustment set screw and fitting. It's almost like this thing had spent some time down in the dirt or something. I really can't explain why it was so heavily pitted. But you can see, let me get the washer off of there. You can see some uh, some real deterioration on those pieces there. So that's something else I'm, I'm going to do something about. So the last thing to come out then is the spring and seat. and the oil pressure check valve itself. And that's really all there is to it. Pretty simple. So after looking at my bypass check ball spring, I found some pretty bad wear on some of the coils. It looks like it was mashed up against the side of the bore for a long time and really flattened a lot of those over, made them thin. But I think I'm going to get lucky on this one. I got a parts unit here that I was able to find a bypass check ball spring that was in much better condition and the retention wedge for that was very very tight in the housing and I've already checked the fit it's a really nice fit in this bore so I think that's going to get me fixed up there and the parts donor comes through again I was able to get a good main fitting out of it that's in a lot better shape than my other one it still did not have a good set screw so I ended up having to make one I took a 5 16 bolt, cut the head off, and put it in the lathe. I put a nice taper on this inner end, and I turned the threads down just at the outer end and put a screwdriver slot in, uh, in it too. So new lock nut, new flat washer, and new copper ceiling washer. It should be a definite improvement in both form and function over what the original parts were that I started with. So the last thing I need to do is to set the in-play clearance of the pump gears to the engine block. I've already verified that the clearance between the gears and the pump housing is really good. Everything's still within spec, very little wear. So to set the end play of the pump gears, uh, you need to do that with gasket thickness. And I have two options available. One option is to go with these pre-cut 3,000th thick shims and stack them up as necessary until you reach the desired 2 to 4,000th end play on these gears. But if I could get by with a single paper gasket, that's the route I'd much rather go. So. Considering my gears are 8 thousandths taller than the surface of the pump housing, this 12 thousandths thick gasket should get me to the high end of my 2 to 4 thousandths end play spec. And I'm hoping if there's any compression in this gasket at all, it might even get me closer to that 2 thousandths mark and uh, tighten things up a bit. So I got a little bit of plastic gauge on the pump gears. I'm going to take it over to the engine block, bolt it up, take it back off, and see where I'm at. Just one hour, I met this southern girl, and I am still in love with the queen of Memphis. There we go. Well, it looks like I hit it right in the middle of the spec. I'm running about three thousandths going by the plastic gauge, so looks like my twelve thousandths gasket's going to work out, and that's the way I'm going to go. Plenty good for this old trailer queen. So this about does it for the oil pump. I got it all put back together and this new spring retention wedge really drove in nice. It's really well retained and it's definitely not going to work out on its own so I do feel a lot better about that. And I am going to replace the oil filter can again with the heavy rust and pitting on this. Um, there can't be a lot for wall thickness left in this area looking at how deep some of these pits are. It's almost like the thing spent some time sitting on the ground. I don't know, uh, but if anybody out there has a good ZB oil filter can, I'm definitely in the market for one. Let me know. So at this point, I'll just end up boxing up this pump and put it up on the shelf where it can remain well protected and clean until 
the time comes to bolt it back on the engine. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done on the governor system of this tractor, and I, I think that's what I'm going to get into next. Guys, I thank you for being in the shop with me today, and I hope to see you back here again.